music. Brick by brick by brick by brick by brick. I own 100% of Barcelona Sports. The sun, the moon, the Milky Way. It is getting so close, I can taste it. We can take a bite out of it. This is exactly, and I mean exactly, why Barstool Sports has to exist. It has to. Hi, it is Wednesday, September 13th, live from Barstool, New York. Uh, Kirk Minahan joins the show. We got Pat Feidelberg. Um, and, yeah, let's get into it. I mean, um, Kirk, Kirk is here. Yeah, Kirk is here. Try to put on this Mike, I thought he was radio good? and fucking entertainment for 30 people years. People do it for me. I don't use it generally. <laughs> do I sound all right or no? Yeah, fine. All right, cool. um, Good afternoon. You were... All oh, really <coughs> spread open there. Well, tell him. He was showing Showed me... Off, look look off. Look at the great... Leg hair. Is that a great? Yeah. Just pop the top. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Minahan just did the show with the shirt off. <laughs> it's getting great. It's getting. It's just so great now. It's sad. It's, are you, are you, are you surprised you're... by this? I'm surprised at how quickly it's it's happened everywhere now. Yeah. Yeah. The, oh, the, the top of your head didn't now get any. And there is like, like the Moose Hitler because now his hair like growing out of yeah. here, like yeah. I'm pulling. I'm like what? Like right, I just felt one. How old are you again? Oh fucking god damn it! I got one. Uh, I'll be 49 at the end of 49. the month. Yeah. I've, I, I feel like I've thought you were older. So I know, you so always say, I, we, do so this, I, we do this fucking dance every time. Yeah. What do you want me to say? <laughs> like, what do you want me to say? Yeah. I, know, I, I yeah. feel like I look pretty good for my age. You actually yeah. do one series. Yeah, you do. Shape, I, one I, I, yeah. Yeah. We're on the song. good shape. That, that, that helps a lot. Like, it's, your ju it's your general juxtaposition, not juxtaposition, uh, disposition towards life. I don't need yeah. this. This is like, I, I, just, I just dealt with these idiots. I don't, I, I don't, I don't. Well, uh, did you get the chance to watch the rundown? I told you to watch it, where uh, Kelly Keegs was deemed yes. new Kirk, the new Kirk Minahan. That is... That's like when they had like the, I'm, I'm dating myself. But when they had like the new Elvises and these guys would come on, they're like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> oh you're not 49, dude. Yeah, you're 100. <laughs> years, <though. laughs> I mean, like I, I said, I guess this Pat was on my show earlier. I thought Kelly's blog about the Mean Girls was actually pretty benign. I didn't think it was that That's mean. You're a sociopath. No, I didn't think it was <laughs> that mean. They're both psychos. I didn't think it was that. Like, did you think it was that mean? I don't really recall uh, what it, it was said. Like she was like, I thought it was pointed. I, I didn't think it was. Yeah, mean. she was like, hey, uh, like they're, they're, it, they're, it, it, they're, it was different in the sense that it was like, you're not funny, your kind of not good, you don't deserve to be a bar stool. That's very rare here. People don't do that. I do it. I mean, I, I didn't yeah, think. I know you. And you, you guys problem. are the sociopaths. My, my, I like. You, the, I, the, I, the, the I like. I like. I like Alex. Like the other one's a zero. I wish them well, but like I will say, well, I do. I you know. So, but like I think at some point, Alex, like she was at Rough and Rowdy a year ago. I was with some point. She lost the punchline yes. somewhere. Yeah. That happens. You know, I'd see, I wish them well. I, I think the vibe here, and I maybe you know this, I think when they um, got a little bit of success, people here thought they started to act like their shit doesn't stink. I don't know whether they were or not because I wasn't around enough, but I think that's what went on here because it was, there was nothing until they were popular and viral. I think they closed off once they got a little success. Like they before, closed, they, before the hate. Before the hate, they closed. That, I was like, oh, we're successful. We can be insular. Like we don't yeah. have to really fuck around with the office, which is like right. not the right. case at all. I think that that was Kelly's point. Was like we used to hang out. We were on the road together. We were on these shows together. And then somewhere along the line, I think she started to be like, well, look what happened to her and Joey over the weekend and uh, out in Monta. Is Joey here? Not Joseph. No. I think no. Uh, what happened? Uh, oh, she was, was ignoring him out, in the, out at the bar. Oh, you know what? I'll Alex send was. I'll send yeah. Nick the. Uh, well, you always you always stay away from these things. Me? Yeah, you float sort of on you. You weigh in, but it doesn't it doesn't bother you. It's another thing, just another body. Like, <laughs> like life goes on, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I think life definitively yeah. does go on. I, <laughs> I, uh, I. Yeah, I stuck up for them when they were here. I, I do. I agree that I think they got a different kind of hate, but yeah, no, I slept fine last well, night. This guy was like dying on the sword. For like, it was, <laughs> yeah, but it was like I, a but cause. Were they making yeah, us that much money? I, it has nothing to do with them as people because they're fine as people, but I don't really know them, so it's not like I'm. I think it was guys you would friend. fight as hard for them. Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, I openly not, say yeah, I, 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 I would do the same. Always protect girls more when they're that. getting hate. Yeah. I, it's way more principle, and it is cause. Like if there, if there was someone else here probably a girl, but even a guy that was like doing well and people in the company were out to stop them from doing well, I would be like, this is fucked up. And that's because I also don't care about friends and right. relationships here. Like, this is my job. I, it's part of being older, too, though. Yes, think, yeah. definitely. That's for sure. Totally. Like, I, Everyone's I, in their little work. Yeah. You know, 
palace intrigue stuff. Yeah. This was this was if you want to play the 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 TikTok. Yeah, this was from Joey. It's you just and Alex Bennett, was she ignoring you this weekend? The well, thing is, we were supposed Shelly to leave together from the house. So we were staying in the same house. All of a sudden, I go upstairs to go like start talking to her. But first of all, I did her eye makeup poolside, right? She goes, Joey, if you do my eye makeup, we were unsure about whose table we were sitting at. So her friend had a table, so she, she reserved two bracelets for me for the table. I said, oh, great. She was like, great, I'll give you the two bracelets, just do my eye makeup. I said, okay, great. And I go up to like, you know, help her like finish up, and she was gone. She disappeared. This is like hours before we were supposed to leave. We were supposed to leave at 4 o'clock. Where she did she go? I don't know. God knows where she went. She disappeared at like 1 o'clock. No sign from her. I couldn't get in touch with her until she got to the club. And I said, oh, and she ignored me. She gave my braces away to two other people, to like her girlfriend and someone Now, else. this is obviously and silly then, shit. Yeah, well, but it's kind on. of indicative. Alice, you're like, you're... I'm going to go somewhere for the night. I we'll can't make sure get go, in. What makes you think it was silly? <laughs> <laughs> Bracelets? But, but it, 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 it's a, it's a, cha- a person changing. Is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's also just like you. Know, you told me I, I came right. to this place. I can't get in without these fucking bracelets, and you're not. What the fuck? That's that's you know obnoxious. Right. I also I've heard, I've heard I, that, I, and I, but I was going. I got along fine with her. So did I. But I, I actually, I after all this, um, Jordan was the one. Jordan texted me, being like, "That was fucked up. I didn't text you back, and I'm sorry." And I haven't heard anything from Alex. And I would have thought it would be the opposite. Yeah. Because I don't know Jordan as much and didn't. Well, the irony is, when I was in here today, I was supposed to have them on. Were you really? Yeah. I saw you tweet that. Yeah, I was serious. Yeah, everyone thinks I was kidding. I was they to, agreed? I, they, Alex said, yeah, sure. That's what they she do. Said, they said, I mean, that's the content. That's <laughs> the <laughs> job. Right, exactly. Same thing happened. fired the day before that. So I'll be all set. Yeah, I'll be there. After they left, I messaged her. I was like, hey, uh, you know, obviously you're still welcome and I haven't heard anything. So I, I, uh, so she's I just don't understand how people can't get the two different things of like, you, you can feel one way about the hate that they got and the way they were treated at the office, and then also agree that if you don't show up to content and don't be a part of Barcelona, you shouldn't be here. Because when, when they when they were gone, people were like, well, I bet you feel stupid sticking up for them now. And I was like, no. Those are two very different issues in my mind. How big were their num- Like, were they making us money, or was it just the potential that they I don't know about. I, I think they have sponsors. I know Dave said it on the rundown. They had 500,000 TikTok followers, uh, 250,000 uh, Instagram followers, and their numbers, I think, are comparable to shows here that you would never think would be getting cut or released or anything like right. that. Well, very well liked shows that they were either equal to or bigger than. And Dave's point was kind of like, if I, if, if we had to go out on the open market and replace their production, it would come at a way higher cost than what we were paying them. So the, the, the company's now you know, making less content uh, that was cheap and affordable and all that. And so it's like, I can understand from his point of view, he, he said on the rundown, he was like, okay, I guess Dave will just pick up the pieces. So it's like, I'm trying to build this shit. We were building it. It was going well. Personal shit got in the way, and now it's a problem for my business. I, if people can't get that, it's fucking crazy. That's, my whole thing has always just been, if you don't like them, and that's your reason for it, just say that. But don't say that this is good for the company, and this is good for this or that. It's like, come on. I was, I'll just say this. The final thing. Like, she got her killed, but Kelly Keeks has a long, long way to go. <laughs> it's a yeah, I mean, Minahan. Like, hey, she's got a long way to go. <laughs> for what? I mean... She's got a long way to go. I mean, to, 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 to be compared to me. Well, where were you at? at I, don't, I don't know Kelly's exact age, but where were you uh, then? Oh, I don't know. Boy, she's got to be like 45, right? <laughs> Jesus. I think, no? I, w- I would guess Kelly's 33. She's way ahead of me at that point. She's I, I, I w- I'm asking where Kirk was at his stage of his Oh, way ahead of 33. Me, 32. 32, okay. Yeah. Oh, she's doing, she's so, doing fine, but like. The idea that how many bodies did you have at that point? I had really not. I just started. Yeah, so I. But I mean, we're talking. I have got at least. Were you ever not, eighty-nine? No. What do you mean? Like uh, when you started, uh, uh, Minahan and uh, was it Kirk and Callahan? Oh, were not you, really. Like, always no. the asshole yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's and that's a burden. You know, it's something I still have to work with. All yeah, time. I mean, you tried to jump in front of a train. <laughs> that clown. Oh uh, yeah. I get it. Well, no, I tried. Well, that, no, I planned to do that. Right. You never, you I tried try. to hang myself. That I failed. <laughs> did you really? You went hang. Senior in high school. Yeah. Whoa, that's an early time. I got close. I got around. The thing collapsed, and I wound up in the, my first mental institution in Massachusetts. Wait, you you, you no. did it, and it broke? Yeah. yeah. What was it on? Holy shit. Yeah, it was Shower on, curtain? Uh, no, it was in my closet. Oh. And it collapsed. Yeah, it yeah. stuck there. I don't know. Even then, like, I, my dad's like, you can't even do that. What do you think? You can do that. Yeah. Now he's gone. You know, but whatever. I'm out. on to do a 15 share, right? Yeah, I was. I can't believe you got about Murchison right now. But look, it was a fact. No, but it is a definitive murder at oh, our school. No question. Do you, do you go seek out? Do you seek that out? Like, I know you have, you share your opinions on other people's content. Not all the time, but occasionally. No, I think it's, yeah. Are you, like... I'm trying to think how I'm, how I'm trying to even ask this. Like, if uh, you said something stupid, would I, like... But, like, but not, not, no, no, because that's, that's totally fair. 
the like are you like oh, this person sucks do, no no no. You, no 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 it, no it has to, no. like like you you're okay doing like that well it's not for me totally yeah like yeah. Like, the, like mean girls is like def, definitely not for me yes but i think it's like it's funny to me to see people get worked up at how I'm dumb it is yeah. it's like yeah, yeah it's yeah. like purposely dumb but, and it, it, it's come up every time we've talked about them and, and dave oh, i think kevin mentioned it on the rundown yesterday too where it's like yeah, dude, that's – and that's probably why I, I was on their side at first. Right. It's like, I say this stuff all, right, the, all time. the time. But then, I, but then I think they can't get sensitive then if somebody makes fun of it for being dumb. Because being put out yeah, there yeah, yeah. because it's dumb. Like, that, that there's that. Yeah, like, but uh, – yes, yes. But yeah. Don't you think? I, no. I was never no, trying I, I to just think if, yeah. if, if, that they were solving this. Is, th- right, here's right, the difference. Right, right, right. Well, we, we, when that was happening, at, like almost, almost like three, four weeks in a row, right. they would put out a video – and almost every time they came on KFC Radio, and I was like, "Girls, you're you're crazy." Like there was a lot of that. I remember that. Yeah. And then right. that's how right. I would handle that versus like, I think your content is so bad you shouldn't be at Barstool. Yeah, that's different. That's a different conversation. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think their content was bad, but I think they should still be at Barstool. In the history of the sh- of the company, I'm trying to think of the definitive murders. I could that's think. one, <laughs> Kirk and Keith, <laughs> Kelly and, and Mean Girls, Trista. The company, the company versus Trista, versus Trista bar, Barstool. That's like that's like a uh, you Which, know, uh, Roe v. Wade, the company v. Crick. Should you Trista talk on Crick? this week or no? <laughs> should I talk? We actually, she would actually be great to hear from. I agree. Time. I always liked. Her. I always felt bad about yeah. that. I liked her, but she didn't like me. Who killed her? I wouldn't say yeah. Keith was a kill. Not for you. The other way, but the Keith uh, Tr- Crick. I guess it was Office versus Trista. Yes. Yeah. She, yeah. She never had a chance. Keith Keith reinforced the. Uh, barrier in the closet. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Publish. Yeah. 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 The, yeah. Um. Any other? I mean, there's there's been outside ones like you know da- Dave's various enemies, and I think we've all had our hit pieces where we've Clemmer with Dave, yeah, sure. Clemmer, Clemmer with Dave was a, yeah. a pseudo murder. That was a that was a that was a uh, shot to the job. Is no, uh, I've known Clemmer here longer than anybody. I was stunned. I still Clemmer. do. You think I'm crazy? I still think Dave becomes a Clemmer guy. I think Dave likes will like Clemmer. I think. Uh, He's a little quirky. He's yeah, a little, I'll tell you, like exactly what he said with Meek last. I was gonna say we got to get we got to like, give our boy. Come on, put your face Clemmer's on the camera real quick. Just looking. Who's this? Meek Phil is our. Oh, this is um, Meek Phil, yes. Yes, he he. <laughs> and that's why I've seen the name. Yeah, yeah that's why it works because he does. Just, he just I like those weird things like that. But yeah. he's a grinder. He he holds his phone up. He he has he also, your shoulders. He's the guy who's on the floor in the picture. I yeah, said, yeah, right? yeah. He's always getting the shots. Always getting social up. Never misses anything. A complete baseball autistic savant. And oh, is that right? Describing Clemmer. Yeah, yeah you are. Right. they're very, they're very. I think that that appearance from Clemmer, actually, when the um, the the sting of the murder subsides, I heard Clemmer's laugh. He's went um, his spine. He he will become a, uh, a, a, a he is a Clemmer guy. The, the ultimate Clemmer. Thing I think is he's can't, can't. actually grossly underestimated. I'm not saying Clemmer is you know number one at the company, but Dave put him at like the literal bottom, and he's not that. He's he's a guy in the mix. Tell you, Dave. Once Clemmer like said to Dave, like. Yeah, I mean, I don't like it, but if you fire me, Dave is like, oh, fuck. Like, yeah. what, do do? Yeah. what do I do now? Because, yeah. you know, he's 43 years old. Yeah. This, is, this is his last job. <laughs> live to be 80. One way or the other, it's what his last do do? job. <laughs> there he is. The question with Clemmer is, is, can he survive Dave's, like, when he finds Clemmer, the dumb thing that Clemmer does, and Dave gets to win no matter what, just swoops on him. Yeah, He's yeah. fine with that. I think he'll be fine. He tried to, like, Dave tried to pull it over the weekend. Yeah, that was. Clemmer's yeah, fun yeah, facts. Yeah. Clemmer's fun facts are great, or New York history facts. Wait, what? I didn't see this, because that, that I also thought could happen, because no. because Dave. Well, I mean, like, uh, he's going to find, like, eight months from now, the Clemmer blog three times in some random week. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. maybe that, his mom died. It doesn't matter. But if Dave matter. was grasping at straws on the fun fact, because that, that was the other thing I was thinking might happen, is Dave wants to get that done quick. Right. He wants to find that yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. and he might, he might go all in mine. on a hand he that's not. He didn't go too hard. You know, he just like, I think he said something like, it's a miracle I made people care about this guy. Right. Yeah. Clemmer's New York City facts are fantastic. Listen, are, people cared about Clemmer before. Why are they not on TikTok? Dave. He, wants to, he wants to say he made him. Uh, you know, I well, think the yeah. argument might be there's someone him. else who made yeah, him. Yeah, I made him, yeah. but that's fine. But that's fine. He, he, we, um, who was it? Uh, I think, fuck, who was describing? Maybe Jeff D. Lowe was describing it. Somebody was describing... Your relation, his relationship with you, and Dave how, or Clemmer? Clemmer. Yeah. How he'll be like, oh, Kirk's mad at me today. I just, I, you know, he's really mad at me these days. But like, and then if things are good, he's like, me and Kirk are in great terms right now. So it's all good. He's happy. <laughs> how Feilberg is. <laughs> but, yeah, that's true. He marks his days. Yeah. It's it's very funny looking back. Now I didn't really know who you were and like what your style was when you interviewed Feilberg back when. Oh my God. How long ago was now that? Now that I, but I was, but that was probably it was. 
We did. The, you we were doing we were, the Wilbur. I was there doing the Wilbur. Yeah. So it was like right when Pat, uh, Churn and bought Barstool. So yeah, it's like 16, then, 17, something like that. Well, it was friendly. It wasn't like combative. No, no but I was nervous as fuck going. Were you really? Oh, yeah. Oh, we or, did in that weird uh, that, like closet where like, the construction the, was yes. happening. <laughs> That's what he told me. I remember. I still remember this. He was like, he was like, He's like, I'm not, we're not getting anything for the Wilbur show. I was like, you're yeah. not getting money for it? Yeah. <laughs> they made like a hundred I was like, what about the Saturday series? He's like, I don't know. Like, maybe? Uh, yeah. should, we, should I get paid for that? <laughs> <laughs> That's like, what I mean, though. Knowing now who, like, and, and, we have and fun, the fact I that he's generally yeah. like, ah, you know, whatever. Go with the flow. I could see you just be like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> have an opinion. Tell me something. Be mad about something. There is, a, there is the one thing about Clemmer, the mystery about Clemmer that he will not talk about is somebody in his life must have left him money. That, that that well, it's that, his sugar mama wife. Uh, no. I know, I know, but I know her a little bit because she she was on the show. We you know she, she's I think she does well, but not. Can bad. we just not reveal like, her drive? Does she work for the government or something? Well, well, why can't we just say? Someone just said she made partner in something. Okay. Yeah. So we're talking. Well, you think it's like an uncle or like? Yeah, a, or OnlyFans. I said for his wife. Clemmer <laughs> <laughs> well, on OnlyFans would kill. Dude, him. imagine you think. Oh, there's a, there's you, there's an audience for that. He's got a body like a question mark. And what is a fetish? Yeah, Dude, if, if Clemmer just had some He's got a hammer Freak ink OnlyFans wife I would pass Make away like 300 grand a month away. I would die <laughs> um, So uh, let, Let's we, we, We'll get into other topics That I think are, are Really discussion worthy But before that I, just, I do want to play this Frank clip Now that it's out We teased it yesterday oh, I saw this We called this uh, Fights actually downplayed it Tommy overplayed it but I think Tommy was right. I think this is an all-time Frank the Tank moment and uh, truly something like only he. Yeah, I have a question about it, it but I liked it, yeah. Okay, let her, let her rip. My dad came into the office for the day. Hey, how's hey, it going? how you doing? Big fan? Hi, how's it going? Thanks. Nice to see you. What are you yeah. cooking up here? Chicken tenders, uh, macaroni cheese, and meat coleslaw. And we do it all big, huh? You remember how we used to do it home, Tom? Pack up Billy, I know, man. Go birds. Go birds, Go man. Birds. Thanks for coming in, Daddy. <laughs> Has dad. no clue. Now, here's the thing. Maybe like oh, two, a couple weeks ago, I feel like he didn't know who you were straight up. Oh, uh, that right? was, no, it was a little longer than that. It was like a year and a half ago or so. Oh, I thought there was something recently. Maybe I'm just mixing no. it up, but. He was asking me what I was gonna do when Dan moved to Chicago. Right, that, <laughs> you, you told me the story recently. Fair question. That's what it was. Yeah. Are, are you going to Chicago with Dan? Uh, no, I'm good. Not, well, not what I was gonna do. He's like, what are you gonna do with part of my take? And I was like. I was you thought you were Billy. <laughs> Probably just keep doing what I'm doing with so, it. Like, so, well, I, I think say, as we sit here right now, he still doesn't know. If you're, if I think I don't know if Frank's over there. I think you're like, who is that and what does he do? Frank. He'd be like, it begins with. Yeah. I'm like, I don't think he knows who I am either, honestly. So like, I think Let, we'll do a little. Um, that that, that, that was my takeaway from it was I just don't think he was even paying attention really. Yeah, yeah. it's like a guy, I've been to. I went to a Devils Bruins game with Frank. I oh, with him. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's yeah. different. Yeah, it's different. Grab that stick, mic. Oh, look at the Mercury oh, Mets damn. cutoff shirt. Wow. He's <laughs> loving it, Frank. Yeah, we're getting in honor of the aliens being uh, revealed. Oh, in okay. <laughs> that a tattoo? Oh no, it's a yeah. Uh, oh, it's a, oh, sorry. Um. Do you know his name? Uh, that's Pat. No, him. No, no. Uh, that's Fights. <laughs> do you know what Fights does? Um, he's your co-host. Oh, okay. Right. So, so you he do. He's on this, though. Yes. Do you know what the name of the podcast he's on? Um, uh, KFC Radio. Okay. We thought that you might not. I mean, obviously, you thought he was Ron's dad the other day when he was bald. Were you just not looking at him, or you looked right at him and just didn't see it? I, I, I was concentrating on cooking. You were in cook mode, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're in the zone. I, I was going in, like, I, that wasn't, like, a planned thing to do with it. I, was, I put the ball cap on. I also happened to see that situation. I was like, I bet Frank's not going to know who I am. Uh -huh. I was. So, uh, so maybe wait, I, wait, sorry, was that, did Roan just, did you tell him to do that? Or no, Roan, no, okay, Roan just went on the fly, right? That's yeah. what I thought. So Roan said, hey, this is my father. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> and I was just concentrating on, <laughs> on cooking. Do you know who this is? Uh, that's Kirk Minahan. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he know he would know you. We don't really have a like, Frank and I have a relationship though. Not really. I actually think you guys, you know, you're both old as dirt, right? So, no. so well, you, both, Frank's actually not that old. We're, uh, but, but you're an old trivia rival, so yeah, yeah that's true. Oh, that is true. I was gonna say you. Well, you, I wouldn't really you call guys it rivalry. Go back and yeah. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I think you could just go back um, and forth trading. We won a championship last year, but uh, you beat us in a tiebreaker. That was your. Hardest match, remember that. Yeah, Ooh. Ooh, I forget the one. <laughs> I totally, I just remember. It was right there, right? When you choked, it was right there. I could see, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Still see the drool. Oh, Frank. <laughs> oh, Frank. And Frank, I believe you were on drugs that day, right? You were high that day. 
Why did you take drugs before? You're not a drug guy, and you got high well, why before did you do that. I never other. asked you that. Why did you do it that day? Because I, uh, I've, I've had a couple of uh, matches where just the uh, anxiety got to me. No, uh, I, I, res I respect that. Just a dozen, man. No, no, no. I respect that. I know. Here's the thing. You are aligned with someone. <laughs> well, it's I, bad. Yeah. I respect yeah. it, Frank. Yeah. I like Frank. That, you shouldn't just. You're smart. You what was it? A pot, was a pot cookie? What's your stance on PEDs, generally? That's a great question. Bring him back to sports. Yeah. Let's oh. go. <laughs> I, I, I'll say this. Uh, I don't know where I saw the video. The aftermath of that, of him not knowing you, you were sitting at your desk and you just started laughing. Was actually my favorite friend attack moment. It was, I think it, was good. it was his most genuine. Like, I don't know if it's on the video, but like I was like, wow, it's nice to see like a nice, genuine, happy friend. Yes, you were just laughing. You were like, I really thought it was Ron's dad. Holy <laughs> I really thought it was Ron's dad. It was good. It was a good practical joke. I mean, I didn't really maybe get it focusing on your face enough. Get, you had the glasses on too, and uh, yeah, no, it was it, it's good makeup. Bald head. It's it's <laughs> your bald head. It was it was repul Yeah, it was not good enough. <laughs> it was. I, I get it. I appreciate it. I'm I gonna mean, I'm gonna send it to uh, Nick now so they can. Uh, yeah, roll that because that's a genuinely like good warm uh, uh, heartwarming moment. <laughs> Frank has arguably one of the. Just just run a little bit of it where he's he's. The the uh, it's a very wholesome yeah you said it's a pure like oh that's joy right there yeah Pete's fault when we get it back we'll play it <laughs> um, all right do you, do you think if we were run through like a lineup and just say what's their name and what job they did they this, do Frank they did this week we, recently we, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it didn't go well yeah, yeah. No, it didn't go well yeah I, okay you got some right you got some right I I struggle with facial recognition and getting back to dozen. I never get to face matches. I, don't yeah, I, don't I was gonna ask you about. I was gonna ask both of you because you're two of the best dozen players. How do you guys do in the dozen, the dozen every the daily dozen? Uh, well, he, you know, he wrote the question the other day on the Red Wedding Day. Oh yeah, everyone. I, I was not. That, I did not think that was that hard. He was oh, like right. in 1792. That was something. That was something. Jesus summer. Christ. How do you well, do generally on the dozen? I uh, typically miss the music. Same. And. Uh, the, uh, fa the, uh, the celebrity. I'm almost exact, oh, exactly the same. Like se six or seven out of nine, generally. So, yeah. Yeah. These guys like cons, these fucking guys who suck. And they tweet they got nine of nine, like chaps. He's like, oh, nine of nine today. I'm like, You've, I've never seen you answer a question right ever. <laughs> and now you get nine of nine? <laughs> you're just looking it up and clicking it? Yes, they have, yeah. they have two. They can, you Yo, can do that let, if you want. Let me Think of the this. level. You call me crazy? If you yeah. cheat at fucking dozen uh, by yourself? If you are looking up answers to the dozen to post your Twitter results, you, should be, you need to kill you. you be get lobotomized. Just be lobotomized. And end it, man. Yeah, be lobotomized. The days I do poorly, I'm more excited to tweet than days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I didn't get one today. You do it, dude. I had I had eight of nine. I only I got them all once, and I had eight of nine going into the last question and I was like fucking a lot of nervous yeah. <laughs> by myself I, on my phone. I've always gone eight for eight and then missed the nine. I went oh. eight and nine uh, a couple days ago when they had uh, uh, the music question was uh, Rolling Stones so. Oh. Was, oh. Keys wrote the questions that day. That was the one that stumped I yeah. cheated on it. You did? you did? Yeah. Just for the thrill of getting a win. Well, he's, get, he's, he's, he's literally the worst trivia player of all time. Yeah, in the company, I'm the worst. I played with him for two years. My team for two years. He never got a question. Why? Wait, why? <laughs> you cheated on what? Did you cheat on all of them? Like, uh, no, I had to cheat on like I think like seven of them. Shut the fuck up. Not all. Not all. What are you doing? Yeah, just seven. So why I looked it up. I was like, I just want to have it all be you green. Tweet it out? You tweeted No, I was just, just personally. Yeah. That's even. You're, that's that's even sicker, honestly. Yeah. 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 Why? You're not because you're not even getting like the credit. Did you feel satisfied when you were done with it? Just no. I felt disgusted. Yeah. That's I respect that. I respect that. That's like you're. A fucking loser. I was like, you can't get any I, of this. I, I, I think less of you right now. That's <laughs> just <laughs> I actually think more. <laughs> that that sums it up right there. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't have thought any lower of me before I told you that. I, I think more <laughs> in the sense that, like, at least he cares. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you yeah. tweeted it, I might think less. If you just like. <laughs> oh, and then I found out like, it like keeps like... track of your score, and I was like, oh god, should I cheat on this every day? <laughs> I liked the uh, I liked the one you had yesterday for the, for the uh, Keen restaurants. It was uh, clock. Uh, what restaurant has? Uh, Gives everyone a uh, sweet rolls, and has a, clack, a cactus blossom, a knockoff of uh, the uh, blooming onion, and uh, and Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. Uh, there you go. Yeah, All right, Frank. I didn't know that one. Good, Good stuff, man. Thank you, bro. Thanks, Frank. Um, Thanks.
All right, on to two things that I think are actually I feel like we're closer now. genuinely um, <laughs> interesting. Have you been following what the Chicklets are doing with... Um, yes, these guys are breaking news, my guy Wit. I think that is actually... Is. Um, interesting, I saw you tweet about it, you're right, it's interesting. Yeah, I, I texted Biz, I, I didn't hear back from him, I'd love to hear from those guys. Nobody, nobody responds to you anymore. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> yeah. Everybody ghosted. Yeah. He, no, he, he, he would drift to you? That. He would. <laughs> he would drift me. Um... So explain it to me. I, I actually, I, I should, probably should have looked this up before. As I understand it, the Mike Babcock, Mike Babcock will like ask his players to uh, like airplay their phone to yes. to the big screen, like in front of the like uh, the rest of the team, and then go through like pictures and shit. That was the I, I saw the clip. I saw the, the Blue Jackets statement. Um, I saw Boone Jenner's statement as the captain of the Blue Jackets. Um, what what Biz and Wit accused, I suppose is that he calls people in. There was definitely an airplay mentioned, um, but they kind of focus on the Boone Jenner, where it's like, give me your phone. I want to look through all your pictures. And, and and he's saying it's like, I just said, let me see your family. Show me some pictures of your home yeah. uh, to, like, you know. Show pictures of an upcoming wedding, I think, was in there. Right. Um, it's for the whole, whole team to see. The the Biz and Wit say it was the We're whole team. That, right, right. Uh, I believe the Blue Jackets statement said it was just for Boone Jenner. So the coach of the Blue Jackets did weird. this. And, and Mike Babcock, if you don't follow hockey, is a historic. He's an asshole. He's like, yeah. He's <laughs> yeah. So he, but he's the coach of the Blue Jackets? He's the, co he's the coach of the Blue Jackets. First year coach. Now, so he took a player's the phone and then put it on the screen and started going through. That uh, Allegedly. Yes. It's either the screen or just like personally just going through it himself. For what reason? I may find fucking you partying, drugs, chicks. I, don't, I actually don't know. So who went on, somebody went on there and said it though, right? Was and it? then and uh, I don't know if any pub, uh, players are publicly. No one's publicly. But I mean, there's, they have text messages. Right, right. Multiple yes, players yeah. have all said that's what's going on. Right, but some people. They are, released uh, a statement saying that the Spit and Chiggles podcast um, has like totally mischaracterized this. It's it's totally like we're just. Uh, just you know, if he does it anyway, though. Even right. It's innocent. It's yeah. Weird. Like, why is a coach? Why is an adult like fucking bizarre? Like, like, uh, yeah, almost. That's even weirder. Imagine your boss is being like, "Let me see your kids. Let me see your kid. What well, your kitchen looks like." If you're doing that shit publicly, um, then imagine what you're doing. That's why Brady never gave his phone. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, who? Brady. Brady's right. right. Yeah, I actually and then did. When, when his emails were revealed, what was revealed? Uh, uh, the type of parenting that parenting articles are written about. Because they literally were. They were like, this is how you co-parent. This is how. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. It's it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually did have his back as much as I was on <laughs> the Outbreak Gate Witch Hunt. I mean, Never. I, mean, I wouldn't yeah, give why would you over. That's to, to Roger Goodell? There's a million things that, right. like, outside of this that I don't want well, you to do. Anything. Or, I, actually, mine is, is I, I would have fun doing mine, I think. What do you mean? Giving your phone up to someone? Like, I'd be, I'd be like, I, I think having to explain things is, like, I feel like most people, they're like, why do you have, like, oh, the, God. <laughs> like, a cartoon why, of why does it exist? That's, a, that's like, a picture of Clint's you know? asshole. <laughs> like I, this one, every time I open my photos, I think it's a dick pic, but it's just a popsicle that's shaped funny. Like I, I got to have a hard time. I think I had a fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. No. Um, <laughs> so that's, but they're catching some heat though. You're to your yes. point. Yes. Also, uh, Mike Commodore, I guess, weighed in on the situation. Grinnell just sent me the clip. He's a, a famous. Yeah. Uh, Babcock. So hater. he's a famous what? Babcock hater. He hates Babcock. Okay, so we'll run that. I just sent it to Nick. We'll run that clip in a second because I think uh, a lot of people were waiting to hear from him on that. I, I told Grinnell to have Biz call. But I think it's actually, I mean, you know, any of these former athletes now doing podcasts from them, Pat McAfee, whoever, who are really doing it well and doing it right, I think has already kind of changed the landscape of sports media. But this is very interesting where it's like if you're going to give players a platform and a way to get, or anybody, to get the truth out there, when we know that coaches, owners, management have just been lying scumbags forever and have been protected by media or whoever, I think that's going to change things a lot. This is Mike Commodore on the matter. Morning, folks. Mike Commodore here. Hey, look, <laughs> like Mike I, I mean, I don't enjoy doing these videos, but Mike Babcock just can't help himself. All this talk, second chance, he's changed. It's all bullshit. Nothing's changed. He's exactly the same. He's pulling the same stuff now that he was in Toronto, that he was in Detroit. It's the same shit. Power, intimidation, and, I mean, going through people's camera rolls, I mean, pervert. He's a pervert. <laughs> That's what it is, right? What else are you looking for? I guess so. Not only has it happened with the story that Chicklets came out with Boone, but I've also recently heard it was happening in Toronto. Uh, it's happened with a couple more players in Columbus, and I don't want to use any names, but in 
particular, a young, very highly touted, very young, very highly touted prospect for the Blue Jackets. Babs, he ain't changing. You keep giving him chances, he ain't changing. Dude, it's, it's so obvious what Rockman this is. is, and it's like, Who's you don't want to say it. Not familiar with Blue Jackets. There's an element of like some. If you're going after like a young person, go through their phone. Yeah. There's some sort of creepy fucking element. That, I don't know what I, I'm allowed to think, say, but. Yeah, I did not think of that angle. I thought it was more power. Like, I want to make sure you're not partying, doing drugs, fucking chicks, all that stuff. But wanting to see it is actually. I Look, what do you, why would you go through? What's the whole point of going through someone's camera roll? Well, I was thinking from a point of view of like. Like I just said, like controlling my players. Like yeah. Making sure you're not. Well, uh, even, if, even if it's, but even that, even if it's it, innocent, you should be like. You, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not your job. Well, I, I think no matter what, this is, it's got to be a wrap for this dude. From I, the point of view of like. I was just thinking about that. I, I mean, he is like, he's a very famous coach. Yeah. Coach him, I, I, I know coach him last year? No. He's a first year coach of the Blue So he didn't start yet? No. Oh, Where was he before? Uh, last, last two years, he was unemployed. He was in Toronto before that, and then he, he made his bones. Detroit, he says. And he's never addressed why he did this. There's no, no, he's been like, he's been Team Canada's coach. Like, he's a... Oh, all right. Yeah, he, well, I, I was going to say, I, I know the name. His, his statement was, let me read it, because Biz quote tweeted it. He, he and the team, I believe, put out statements being like, uh, you know, this is... This yeah. is it. Okay. Um, there it is. It's easy to read. Yeah, I, the guy can read that. So he said, um, Mike Babcock, while meeting with our players and staff, I asked them to share off their phones family pictures as part of the process of getting to know them better. There was absolutely nothing more than that. The way it was portrayed on Spit and Chicklets podcast was a gross misrepresentation, misrepresentation of those meetings and extremely offensive. These meetings have been very important and beneficial, not only to me, but for our players and staff as well. And to have them depicted like that is irresponsible and completely inaccurate. Boone Jenner is on the... He's the captain of the Blue Jackets. Of the Blue Jackets. While meeting with Babs, he asked me about my family and where I'm from, my upcoming wedding and hockey-related stuff. He then asked if I had pictures of my family, and I was happy to share some with him. He showed me pictures of his family. I thought it was a great first meeting and a good way for us to start building a relationship. To have this blown out of proportion was truly disappointing. So he went on the show. Now I'm on their side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a completely so, switched. <laughs> but did Boone, so. Who, wait, no one on the show. Oh, okay. All right. No, no one's on. Well, he's, but he's, no he's, one's put okay. their name. No one players have put their name on. He's totally, but he's totally the company line. Totally. He's, I mean, that was written and been like. Yeah, put it, but that's where, like, I, I, I don't know this guy Boone at all. I, I'm not sure what type of player he is, what type of like captain he is. But when the, if this thing blows up, if it was me and I and I like was towing the company line, but it became like a national story, I very quickly would be like, okay, wait a minute. I'm I'm speaking for myself now. You know what I mean? Like well, I think that might I would, happen. That's we're, what I mean. we're at like the beginning of so, it. So yeah. If, so if it when, turns when bad, he comes yeah. out and says, "I never," that was not my statement. I was uh, I shouldn't have done it, but I was trying to you know protect the team. My own, my own thoughts are, you know what I mean? Like there, it's not worth going down with the ship for. You know what I mean? Like he's gonna, if he's a captain, he's a good player. It is not worth ruining your reputation and your career for Mike Babcock. Yeah, it, or anybody it, really. It feels like Bab. This is the. Not the first time that th this has been a a accused, yes. But like Babcock's kind of like this was, I, I feel like, kind of his last chance. I could be wrong on that, but like he's he's been fired for being a dickhead before. Two players, like just being like a like yeah, he's not a player's coach. Or yeah. Not. Like what has I he done? Like, anything like weird? Not that or I'm aware of. I just, I just I'd heard. I just don't like him. He was an yeah. I I, uh, I do think it's very interesting though. From there, like and and what what really jumped out at me was Biz's quote tweet of those statements being like, "This is fucking bullshit." bullshit. Yeah. He said, "Tell Babs to knock off the bullshit. Enough of putting guys on the spot in the coach's room and asking them to link their phones up to airplay mode and grilling them. I've had tons of players confirm it. Smarten the fuck up, Babs. Shove your statement up I Craig, he works for yeah. TNT. Awesome. Like, he's I know. Yeah. 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 Even, yep. even, it actually is crazy. Even in the clip, when Biz is like, I say, if he went through, if I knew this was coming, I'd, I'd have just pictures of my asshole. <laughs> 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 that, would be, that would be great. That would be, that would be amazing. <laughs> Here you go, bud. Pictures. He said it in obviously his Biz way. He's like, I'd have legs up, my fucking bin out. My <laughs> <laughs> bin. My <laughs> hoop in his face. <laughs> uh, yeah, you also said if you think the Spit and Chickless podcast rolls out that story without confirming it. I actually really believe that, too. Those yeah, guys wouldn't yeah. fuck around. Yep. Um, without confirming it with a member of the team, you need a brain transplant. Bizarre behavior from a guy that's done it before and gotten canned for stuff exactly like this. This was the text I got to start off the story. <laughs> Carry Bob's water. I don't give a flying fuck. Believe who you want to believe. The truth will come out. The good news is I won't. Uh, he won't be invading guys' privacy from a position of power anymore. If you can't understand how bizarre that is, then we're not going to be aligned on this. And he had a screenshot of text messages from an anonymous player saying, 
you got to sneak into your pod about how Babs is getting guys to show their photos on the big screen. Is he just an old Columbus. man, though? It, they like, is that part of it? Yeah, yeah, it really is. Yeah, yeah. just, just at the end there. Just just like, it on. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, you, you were in basically, you know, in sports media for a long time. And I feel like, I mean, part of the reason I don't really care to talk about it much is like just canned responses and you know guys are lying and you know these players are, are like powerless and the owners do whatever the fuck they want. Right. And they haven't had a way to, you know. To yeah, no, it's changed. You're seeing, it, you're seeing scale. it. Yeah, it's getting bigger. Yeah, and it's good. Like I said, Biz has like a real, forget check checkups, which is enormous. He's on the TNT. TNT. Which and is, I, which and I don't think, like, yeah. a, you know, yeah. Hundreds of millions. I don't know what the contract is for the NHL, but yeah, that's a big deal. Turner Broadcast. But he's yeah. not. They're not going to throw that out there if they don't have it. And no I one's going to question the journalistic integrity of Ryan Whitney around me. <laughs> Let me be clear about that. Okay? But that is what's funny is like I just I believe them more almost than other. Well, I agree. Oh, I, like, they, they have. They wouldn't cold. say this unless they. We see this happen all the time. So now we're at the part of the story where they're denying it, kind of. Now, if the story gets bigger, then they're in trouble. If it blows away after a couple of days, there like move on. And like, that's like, why I guess it's worth putting out those fucking bullshit statements because maybe it satiates Because in the next thing always happens. Like, yeah. look at, like Drew Barrymore. She, they knocked Mila Kunis and Ash. Mm. Like, gone. Now it's all Drew Barrymore right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It'll go away in like a day or two and it'll yeah. be the next thing. That's but, the thing. But some, not if... But some, know, but some, right. Some, if the story gets bigger... It hits some, the right. uh, internet when it hits like a bar stool, chicklets. That's the thing. Stool, you, know. you need a player to come out now and be like, this, this is happening. Oh, yeah. This is go- Once now that happens, it's over. The player says it, forget it. I, I, I... What's up? Someone from Chicklets. Oh. Is it Grinnell? <laughs> I think you would say. Who do we got? What's up? Rear ads. <laughs> oh, jeez. Rear ads. How we doing, What's bud? What's going on, gentlemen? What's I up? I you were crying on the bell for me. What's shaking? Yeah, we're, we're just going over this Babcock story saying how, uh, you know, you guys are giving these dudes a platform to, to tell the truth. Um, wh- where do you think it goes next? Oh, I think like every other thing on the internet, it's gonna in the NHL will blow over and be gone in a couple of days. Um, yeah. You know, it's just, it, it's a fun story and people are digging into it. Um, but yeah, it's I don't think anything's gonna come out of it. Certainly, like me, Paul, and, and Whit and G, like, we didn't you know we didn't do anything. It's, you know, if we whatever said we said it, I and mean, that's what we do. We entertain. Uh, I it's, it's not I it's not from disagree. nothing. I'm not sure it's, it's a fun story, but <laughs> <laughs> I I think like put it this way, I you know I don't take any interest in hockey and that jumped out at me i think this this story has legs beyond hockey just from a point of view of like what the fuck is going on that's weird i think it'll uh, i i agree with you i i i think ba- uh, rear ads i think you're i think there's a chance that babs is done yeah i think I, I think even if he's not like fired like directly for this it's like the seed of doubt has been planted. Players are going to be like, you lost the fuck? locker room. Yeah, I, I, I feel like it, one way or another, it's going to be curtains for Babcock. No, we are. No, I don't think so. I mean, wow. it's, it's, the team brought him in. They, they, they were aware of his past. And by the way, he, he never did anything like worthy of having to be exiled. Like, you know, it, it things come out that he was an asshole to his players in Toronto, and we were familiar with what our buddy Commodore said even well before that. Uh, but like, he didn't, you know, he didn't do things that other coaches did, where he had to like. You know, do penance, but uh, apparently, I think what happened was all these other bad stories. Small Bill Peters story come out, then Matt Crawford. He kind of got caught in that wave, so he just had to kind of self exile a little bit. I'm not saying the guy should have never coached again, but I think he, he's trying to go from, you know, uh, Gunnery Sergeant Hotman from Full Metal Jacket to Mr. Rogers, and it, it just doesn't work that way. Like, the statement was way too fine tailored. And look, uh, if that's the way it did pin out, the way, you know, uh, Boone Jenner and, and uh, what's his name, Babcock's statement, if that's what actually happened, it's still fucking weird to yeah. have your boss come in. And, mm-hmm. and even today, I'm, uh, another text came in from a guy said, like, he called his, another guy right after. I was like, holy shit, you know, you'll never guess what just happened. It's just unusual. Uh, we've heard coach stories forever, but let me see your phone. Pull your phone up. Let's look at pictures under the guise of meet your family. It's fucking odd, dude. It's, it's fucking weird. I don't care what side of the fence what, what do you What do you think it is, though? Do you think it's a, a power thing or, like, a perverted thing? Or, uh, like, what is the, what do you, th- I mean, obviously we don't know. Yeah. But- I don't think he. I don't think he genuinely gives a fuck about their family and like, re, re, like all of a sudden. I mean, I guess he's, he's been doing it for a while. Yeah, I think there's probably a little bit of a psychological edge. He's a real smart guy. He's no fucking dummy. He does things like thought out. I just don't think he's a particularly great people person. Um, but yeah, I, I don't. I, he's not going to get fired. The, the, the players' association, because that's what I said when we talked about the show. They might want to look at this because you know if he did make them give them their phone, then, then, then that's a workplace issue. But. If they said yes and gave it to him, okay, well, there's a power imbalance there, Kev, right? Right, right. You know, it's like these guys, they don't want to say no to their new boss. And, you know, it's all, you got to get ice time and, and you fucking 
score your goals and make your money based on that. So of course you're going to let them look at look at them. And uh, it, it, you know, it's just a strange thing. And and uh, it's funny too. Like I I've never seen this much vitriol from a from a like a NHL coach like around the league. Just, you know, we get texts from guys and share. You know, we got a little group stuff and and like just people. You, you talk about like emotional trauma of work, like employment trauma. Kevin working at a bar stool. Like people don't think of this. Well, pro athletes, dude. Like this is the worst thing that can happen to you in the line of work. And the coach like humiliates you, embarrasses you. Yeah. That like fucking that stuff sticks, man. Like what he did to Mike Madonna. You look at Mike Madonna. Fourteen hundred ninety nine games played. Because fucking bad Clark healthy scratched them when it should have been a fifteen hundredth game. That's sick. You know? that's, that's fucked up. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad <laughs> move. Yeah. Be right. I I think you're being. Pretty dismissive of it. Pretty, yeah, I'm not, I'm not just of the you're, action. You're, you're pro like, Babcock. Of like, of I, 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 obviously I could be wrong, but like I, I think the hockey community is so insular that they can bury a lot of things. But when things get out of the hockey bubble, I think they don't know how to handle it because it's a small league still in comparison. Yeah. That like pretty quickly when things like like I think with the Bruins with Mitchell last year, like when right. things get outside the, the hockey bubble, it's pretty quickly like all right, all right, never mind. We'll, we'll, well, do you, do you think yeah. a current player will speak up? That's the thing, to your point. I don't think it's going to I don't happen. think a Blue Jacket either. will, but right. a, a, a Maple Leaf no, or a you, Red Wing? Like, who fucking cares? No, it's, they're active in the league. You don't want to be talking shit about other coaches. It's just like, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's not really a fucking a line they really cross. Like, retired guys, absolutely. Plenty of retired guys are venting about them. But, you know, guys on other teams, if they if they felt they, you know, whatever, victimized or traumatized by bad luck, they're not going to come out and say it in the middle of the season. It's just better than nobody. Uh, you know yeah, what, though? I, I, I just, I think this is part of the greater discussion about, like, what spitting chicklets is, though. I think it's a different, I, I, I would agree with you pretty much uh, for the rest of time up until now, but what you guys are doing where it's like, all right, let's play through, like, the backlash you might get. I what really is going to happen is probably most people are going to go, yeah, that guy was a fucking asshole. Maybe some people go, hey, we're not going to sign that guy because he talked about the coach. I don't know. You're not going to get blackballed. Pe- most people will probably be on your side. I-, I don't think it's – I think it's a new world. Oh, 100%. It, it, 100%. I agree with that. And just to clarify, it's not – this isn't what I'm wishing happened. This is just right, right. I, based on we've been doing this for a while, what I think is going to happen, it's just kind of going to blow over because the, I don't think there's going to be a smoking gun per se. Again, they may, like, say, hey, you might maybe stop doing this because the guys, again, anyone's going to feel pressured, even if he's nice about it. Oh, let's see your, fit, your camera. I mean, I, every, any kind of day, a lot of people are going to think that's a little odd. I, I, mean, I, I, know, yeah. you know, I just so, think, that to, to reference the Mitchell situation again, I think it's easy enough to just pull the, pull the shoe if, like, if he's lost the locker room, if you're getting all this shit, he's, not, it's a, he's a first-year head coach on that team. It's easy enough to just exact, do exactly what the Bruins do. When we right. Went, ah, we didn't do our due diligence. We're cutting ties. Right. 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 But to see, the thing is, we, we've had already two players on the team, the captain and the big money free agent last year, come out and say that they were they were comfortable with the thing. They had no problem with it. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Johnny Gaudreau, he's a big friend of the program. He even said, I think it was a little, uh, you know, like blown out of proportion. You know, obviously we're coming from from, from our show. Uh, and, yeah, these guys are speaking up. I, I don't think that this – Rose to the level where like a guy has to lose his job. Put it that way. And I'm not. It's not sticking up for him. Like again, it's it's weird to ask guys for, for uh, their cameras. I think they get caught off guard, and it's like, yeah, you don't want to say no to the boss. I think maybe you know management might want to have a have a word with him. But I don't think he did that. Anything that's going to rise to the level where, well, we got to fire this guy before he even coaches a goddamn game. All right. Well, we'll see what the what the fallout is. Uh, fallout is. Good job on you guys, and we'll uh, we'll keep up with it. All right, man. Absolutely. One more quick thing, Kevin. It's, yep. it's, it's, there's, a, there's more vitriol, like I said, for, for this guy out there. So I think that, you know, I think maybe Biz and Wit, like deep down, as former players, you know, they're always going to defend players. Totally. It's maybe a part of them, like, that doesn't think they don't want to see other guys like Korea's fucking maybe go sideways because of this guy. I think, it's, I think people are really passionate about it because, it, it, like I said, it's, it's fucking emotional work trying to do it. It's just a different form for those guys. But thanks for having me, boys. Let's do it again soon. All right. Thanks, man. Have a good one. All right. Um, we'll take calls in a minute because we, we I forgot to take them yesterday. I'm sure people want to speak on um, everything. Um, Rear Admiral is disgusted by the work of uh, Biz and Whitney on this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was always surprised, right? <laughs> we're busy, yeah, we're, we're Admirals is you know how he is, but he's almost like he's like yeah, I don't, like, I don't know who's reporting this stuff. What the fuck? They, what the fuck they didn't. You know, what's the report? What the fuck are you gonna do? Like, no, <laughs> this is on your show, I think. <laughs> uh, from what I gathered from their tweets, they were they were pretty upset. I, I, I was surprised how easy he was like, nah, he's going to lose his job. Which I, I obviously could 100% be wrong, but I thought there's at least going to be some tough meetings about it. Yeah, uh, it's also a weird thing, like, how does the mainstream media treat a story that originated? Oh, we got Whitney. Oh, oh you do? Okay, with chicklets, you know, I don't know. What's up, Whit? Wait, he's going to call back. He just dropped out. Okay. 
I did, I did see that. Uh, if, if it pops up, I can put it on the line if you need me to. Because um, there still is that. There still is that weird stigma. Will, yeah. the, will the media like r- treat? Because there's something if, if a mainstream media person reported, it's a real story. Like, do they uh, run with it? It's the kind of story they I, like. I don't know if you need it anymore. But the, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, they, I think it was busy. They are. Ed screenshot. The media. Oh, I know. Oh I, oh, I know. But I'm saying, right. And and he's but, on TNT. And, like, I mean, yeah. if it was in season, I think he'd be bigger. saying on TV. Right. I mean, if he says it That's on TV, fair. then I think it gets, then I think <laughs> it gets sure. blown up. If he makes a comment while he's doing one of their games or something. And, and we've, we've known this about the hockey world for a long time. There's a lot of weird white knighting that goes on. It actually kind of died down because yeah. all those guys who used to do it were turned out to be fucking yeah. creeps yeah. but usually hockey is very oddly the the reporters are like don't be misogynistic and don't be this and don't yeah, be right, that so right, right. that's what i mean yeah there'd be somebody writing on that um i think also biz and wit are obviously players and want like rear ads probably right most active guys aren't going to speak up and retired guys aren't uh don't have as much credibility but they're like retired guys who are in the media, I think they will go to bat for those guys and just be like, it's fucking weird. Yeah. Even Johnny Gaudreau being like, yeah, it wasn't that bad. He's got to say that. Fizz and Wit will be the ones going, guys are weirded out by this fucking stop, and I don't think they're going to just stop beating the drum. I think there's, there's nothing now, but like, I don't think it'll turn into a big thing. But if a new layer of weirdness is revealed, yeah. then I think it's like a mainstream fucking thing. Yeah. But it's just who's going to, you know, talk about it and it doesn't know. even have legs. I don't know. Does Whitney not know how to fucking use his phone? No, he does not. I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> how long does it take to call, call, call somebody? Um, you want to take another call? Is all right. All right. Is that 617? I'd yeah. imagine so. Okay. Wit, what's up, bud? What's up? Uh, no, uh, it, hey, yeah, what? really. Uh, you got like you know the biggest story in the hockey world going. You tell me. I don't know. You on the golf course again? Well, no. I didn't even know if we were already on the air. I yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. Put me on. No, we, we're on. We actually we we just heard the fuck. <laughs> we just heard from Rear Admiral, who oddly kind of was like, eh, Babcock's fine. He's not going to lose his job. Yeah, it, was very, it was very weird. It, it, very weird. I, I expected a different tone from him. I think you and Biz seem to be more mad about it. Well, uh, Babcock's just a scumbag. He's just a, he's a, he abuses his power. He treats guys like shit. The fact that he's back coaching in the NHL drives me nuts. I guess in a sense, it shouldn't. I don't have to play for him, but... I mean, I feel bad for guys who got to play for that piece of shit. And I also feel bad for the position we kind of put these guys in. Because, like, listen, what are they going to do? The guy got yep. hired, like, three months ago. What are going to come out? And I'm sure you guys maybe talked about it. I don't know. I wasn't listening before. But what are they, like, they going to do? They're going to, like, the players, first off, if they come out and say that it is true, which it is, and all of a sudden they don't fire Babcock, well, you're completely hosed. Yep. you got a coach now who despises you. So it's like it's kind of like a lose lose for them, but him doing this in the past, and then the fact of the matter is, all these people who are like coming at us and defending Babcock, it's like, don't you realize that the minute that Biz broke this story and that they released that statement, actually admitting and talking about the phones being put on airplay and sharing photos, that it's kind of an admitted of like, yeah, some sketchy shit was going on, but we're going to end up going about it and saying it was, it was a great way to get to know someone. What the fuck are you talking <laughs> Who about? Who in the world has ever got to know someone that way? Right. <laughs> Man, let me see your photo roll. I'd love to uh, learn about you. I'd love to learn all about you. Yeah. How about just maybe, I don't know, grabbing, grabbing lunch and maybe <laughs> talking about uh, how uh, your family situation. No, let me see some pictures. What yeah. the fuck are you talking? Yeah. When, so when... It, it's 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 just something that to me it's just over the line. And 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 then it's all about it's the same. Randy Carlisle was a coach in the NHL for a while. He was a great player too. He got fired by the Ducks. He's with Toronto. He goes back to Anaheim. The Anaheim owners. Oh, he's a changed man. No, no, he's not. Right. Babcock treats people like shit. Throws guys under the bus in Toronto. Always just. Just drilling players with unnecessary mental bullshit constantly. Oh, he went and rehabbed everything. He coached Canadian college hockey. He's good to go now. What does he do? He's doing the same shit. Mm-hmm. These guys don't change. They're, they're, they're fucking old dinosaurs. And there's some amazing young coaches like in any sport that don't get a chance. Because for some reason, the NHL more than any other league has this like coaching carousel. Fired, hired, fired, hired. 
And it's like, I just can't stand Babcock. And people think it's like, I'm looking to, like, get this guy fired. Like, I could give two shits if he got fired. But we're telling a story that we were told that we know is true, and this is what comes up from it. So I, 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 I don't really know where it goes from here. But for Ra to say it's nothing, it's like no, the well, no, 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 no. He, he didn't say it was nothing, but he, he, he I, I, I did ask him the question: Where does it go from here? I personally think, like, I took note of this. I'm not a hockey guy, but I, I saw what was going on. I was like, this is strange. This is different. It's bigger than just hockey. I think this gets outside the hockey bubble and has a chance to kind of spiral, where the Jack, the Blue Jackets, might be like, we don't have a choice. We have to fire him because public pressure, the, the, the world we live in. He was like, I think, like any other hockey story, it's going to be gone in two days. I don't know if that's true. I don't think so. Uh, well, well, here's here's the thing, right? Like th- that statement, I- in a sense, like that kind of could put it to bed, right? Oh. But I got other guys. I got guys on that team who texted a buddy of mine who played with them, and a month ago he goes, he, I saw the text. He said, I just got, I just had my first meeting with Babcock, and I walked in. And he's like, oh, let's go through the pictures on your phone. Like, but I don't, I don't, I do not blame those guys for not like stepping up and saying something because I, I you, you it's it's your it's your livelihood and, and I understand it. That's why I do know that this is putting them in a tough spot. I guess if we could change one thing it maybe would have never mentioned one name the name Biz mentioned. Maybe if we hadn't mentioned a name it's completely different. Yeah. But for these guys to just come out and say it was a friendly, nice way to get to know each other. Yeah, let me scroll through your pictures on your phone, dude. And then let's go through your bank account info as well after yeah. that. That would be a great way to get to know did, 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 um, Has there been any uh, – I'm assuming you haven't talked to that guy, like, off air. Because I feel like that the, the statement that he, quote, unquote, put out was just, like, written by the team and they, had, they, they told their team captain to put it out. Like, do you think he wanted to put that statement out? Or is he like, I got I to gotta stick up with this email? So it's not fair for me for yeah. me to say uh, either way. My, my guess is, as the captain of the team, he's like, holy shit, the season hasn't even started yet. We're already in the middle of this shit storm. I'm sure the GM who hired him, whose kind of ass is on the line to begin with since their team sucks every year, he's probably <laughs> like, oh, I can't, like, we can't, we have to fix this. Like, this guy hasn't even coached the game yet. And, you know, but that's not fair Fair for me to say that they're, like, yeah. oh, you're seeing this captain and making this statement. But um, it's just the fact that all of it has happened and and whatever. If they want to go about – and here's the thing. I, I think if you told these guys, if they stood up and said – all came out and said it happened that he would be fired they probably would but the risk of him not being fired is yeah. too much of a panic right is yeah. i was gonna ask you I, I did ask ra do you think there's a chance they go the bruins route with it whether they did with mitchell last year where they like they lost the locker room there's there's no reason to, you know they haven't done anything to earn it with this franchise that there's a, a reason to stand by them do you think they're like fuck it let's go but you did just bring up a good point where like bergeron put his name on that bergeron was like he's you know, I, I forget exactly what he said, but like what Bergeron said, like it was pretty clear, he's not, he wasn't thrilled about the signing. Right. Well, I, I don't, I don't know, but what was, I don't know about if disappointing is the right word, but like the PA right away is like texting me and Biz, and they're like, oh yeah, these guys say it's not true. It's like, okay guys, um, we played in the NHL, we were part of the PA. But the, the fact that people think the craziest thing is that people think we just made it up. Right, that's like, are you crazy. Fucking kidding me, right? Why would you fucking like, just you make we're, that up? <laughs> would you even make it up? No, it, we. When Babcock got fired by Toronto for like asking guys to rate his teammates' work ethic, and then just in private, and then decided to tell the entire team what guys were doing and saying <laughs> about their teammates. Well, this shit never even came out. Like the fo- he was doing the phone stuff in Toronto. Yeah. And then the fact that he goes back, he's doing it again. It's like, and, and to word it the way they did, like, yeah, it's just a friendly get together. Like, wh- what the fuck does your pictures and your phone have to do with it? Well, that's it's where I feel like me. that's where I think that's a way for them to maybe stick up for their team. Hopefully this blows over. But I'm not, I mean, it's just so far fetched and it's such a, a, a PR statement. I, I, I don't know. To but me, then that, the, PA, the PA was like, because the PA and Biz were, like, kind of going a little bit back and forth. Like, 
almost like calling Biz a liar. He's like, bro, you, you, you're calling me a liar right now? He's like, talk to other guys. And, he, and Biz had guys who played for him that he did this shit to. And then all of a sudden their tone changed a little bit. Mm-hmm. And to me, it's like the PA, like, immediately going at me and Biz, like, calling us liars. It's like, I don't know, like, why are you, like, so quick to, like, Defend brush all this under the rug? Yeah. Let's, just, let's make it some phone calls. The Players Association wanted you guys? The Players Association was talking to me and Biz, like, saying, like, well, these guys say it's a lie. I'm like, oh, okay, I, I, all right. I mean, I don't know. Like, if you if you think we're liars, then you can go right ahead and, and believe it. But those players are, are trying, in a sense, to put out a fire that's definitely coming from, like, the fact that, like, they had upper management unnamed sources in Columbus immediately say this story's complete bullshit, like, well, then it turned out the phones were involved, so it can't be that complete bullshit. Right, well, right. What comes down, they would, if they could right now, they would get rid of him right now, but they're covering their own ass. Like you said, the GM, all the way up. Now, if they get rid of him right now, they're in yeah. fucking trouble. That's yeah. all it is. Right. Do you, do you, do you, it, 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 exactly. And then who's going to coach the team? Camp starts in a week. Do you uh, worry uh, about, like, do you think this is a big enough deal that uh, the Players Association – will view you guys as like a problem tell players to not go on the show like or are you just like fuck it this we're, we're here to tell the player side and, and we don't care what you say yeah I, w- I would hope not um i mean biz and i are really friendly with a lot of guys and i think that i think that they know uh you know coming on we're not going to look to like shrivel any of these guys i mean there's put it this way if they're not going to do our show what are they going to do well, because we're right. not out to get them like Right. orders so obviously this is a little different and and kind of unfortunate like like i said i kind of if, if anything could have changed i maybe maybe we just hadn't used any name because to say a name and then that guy come out and say you know that's not how it went down like obviously it doesn't like look great for us but there's a bunch of guys whose names uh haven't been brought up and who haven't said anything and 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 it's just a different story when you look at the entire team as opposed to one guy but I, I don't think that you think this would stop guys from enjoying coming on, talking to us about you know their up their not their upbringing, but how they got into hockey, their story, and we'll see, I guess. But I, I would rather I would rather try to be honest with with fans and and the guys that people that do listen to our show about what actually goes on right. with some of these dickhead coaches. Yeah, that's where I think that what you guys do is is pretty important. Where it's like it's a, a whole new wave of sports media where. Even the players association is kind of grimy and and not going to do the, the the stick up for the truth or what's right or whatever. Where you guys really don't have any agenda. It's just this is what's happening. Let's you know let's deal with the, with the truth yeah, of the matter. And, and, and like, for example, like like the the athletic, like they wrote one of the the Blue Jackets writers for the athletic wrote an article and then like after you know after the Columbus Blue Jackets made their statement and. Um, you know, said something to the to the fact of like, yeah, they've denied it and everything like that. And then when asked, when when Paul Bissonnette was asked, answered with a profanity. The guy texted Biz and was like, hey, do you have any response to their comments? And he wrote, yeah, they're full of shit. So instead of writing uh, that, he writes Biz answered with a profanity. That's, that's, like, that's what I was on, talking Biz. about. Like, that's what I was talking about, Ryan. Is that that's what's going to happen with these guys because they don't. They don't have the story. Like normally, they'd love to moralize. Right. They would love to do that right. because somebody else got it. And especially that, the like, yes, Barstool exactly. Social media is going to be a bunch of pussies about this. I, right. I that, that's going to slow the story down. I think that's crazy that he wrote that. Like, it, 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 it answered by saying he's full of shit, but he writes he answered with a profanity. It just makes it sound like more ridiculous. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, like you guys are clowns and right. totally, yeah, yeah. totally. That's some yeah, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. you know what? Like a lot of people. Like, they look at us as, like, clowns. You know, we're, t- we're, we're swearing or whatever. Our business telling a sex story. It's like, they, they, to a lot of regular old school media are like, these fucking assholes are just goofballs. They're idiots. They don't know anything. When in actuality, we know a lot more than they do. And also, by the way, like, like, even if, the, let's say you were clowns, you're just a threat no matter what. Like, you're huge. And, and a, the biggest thing in hockey media, so there's jealousy and all that involved. Yeah, it's just it's just the the fact that people are like they made this up to me. It's like you. No. All right. Well. All right. We, we you're breaking up on us a little bit there, but I mean, I I think uh, we do call ourselves oh. the Brooker Boys, but. All right. Good shit, Wit. Thanks, man. We appreciate it. All right, guys. Um. 
let's, uh, I just want to see, Taylor Lewan said he would call in, but we were talking to Whitney, so I'll see uh, if he can call in now. But while we do, while we're waiting for that, um, Barstool Radio, uh, Surviving Barstool mm -hmm. um, is materializing. Yep. You were, they're, they're going to do a big reveal of everybody involved, so I don't want to give away the cast, but. Oh, I've, already, I've already done that. Uh, oh, you have? I think it's public. Yeah. The whole list? The whole cast? Yeah. Pretty much. Well, so I got texted by um, this guy Rob yesterday. Yes. Rob, uh, Nerd, nice Quinzer? What's his last name? Um, I think he's in my phone as Rob Barstool. He's Rob Barstool. in my phone as Rob Branded Content. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's Whoever he is. Tattoo, Text yeah, me yesterday. Like, hey, just so you know, all these guys are doing Surviving Barstool. You interested? I was yeah. like, well, uh, I, I thought I was in. Uh, like, keep, keep it quiet. I was like, well, I was on with Porto. Oh, wait, oh, wait hang on. Porto this this is Taylor, me. and then we'll talk about it. All right, all right, all right we got Taylor <laughs> Lewan. Um, we, we've been talking about this for a, a few days, <laughs> and I wanted to hear uh, straight from your mouth the retirement gate. Um, it's been pretty clear, you know, Dave was was quick to say we don't do that kind of shit. Uh, if it happens again, you're fired, all that sort of stuff. But I just wanted to give you a chance to speak on the matter and see where you're at with it all. Me? Personally, when I woke up Sunday morning and I saw a whole bunch of texts on my phone saying, hey, congratulations on retirement. <laughs> what a career, brother. Everyone giving me flowers. Dude, I was truly, like, like so mad. Yeah. Like, like, so angry, like... So I, I put up a little post, hey, I'm not retired. If this is what Barstool wanted, they got the clicks they wanted, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, it was just a big misunderstanding. So what happened was is we, me and Willie, we, on Thursday, we fly to shoot the pro football football show Friday morning. And then this whole, hey, Taylor, are you retired? I make a joke and say, yeah, I'm retired. Now, am I 255 pounds? Yes. Am I doing a gambling show called the Slips and Picks 500? Yes. Does it look like I'll ever be able to play football again? No, because my knee. But I'm not officially retired. So I, after the show, somebody, one of the producers hit up Will, and he's like, hey, do you guys, do you care if we keep the part about Taylor retiring in it? And we, we keep the joke part. And I was like, as long as you guys keep the joke part, then I'm totally fine with it. So that gets posted. And then I'm, I'm only assuming that somebody on the Barstool social team took that, clipped it without me saying it's a joke, and then put that's, it out. That's exactly what the, it was. On the internet world. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. So at the end of the day, it's like, what is like the game we're all playing the game that barstool's playing and anybody who lives on the internet is we're trying to get clicks we're trying to play the game we're trying to get interactions and all that i get it bust with the boys that's what we're trying to do too so i'm sure it's just some guy or girl doing something totally innocently and then it ends up being a thing what i did love what i did love is the high ups dave big cat yourself kfc people reaching out to me being like hey man we don't do business like that. We didn't. That that should have never happened. We are sorry. Dave's calling for heads on Twitter. Mm -hmm. He's texting me about it. Dan calls me. Like, people have a misconception about Barstool and how it's like this. You know, a bunch of gallivanting idiots trying to get clicks and all that. But really, people are looking out for each other. That was just a mm. a mishap that was quickly fixed. And, uh, uh, and uh, I truly appreciated it. I will say this. I <laughs> I think the social media team. You think they did it on purpose? Kevin? Yes. Well, yeah, he, yeah. He, he said he said so. Oh, who did? Uh, uh, I forget. I, I, I know the guy's Twitter handle. I don't know. Oh, okay. But he did it on purpose. But he was like, I was, what, what was the exact quote? He was like, he's, he's trying to do get more clicks. Yeah. He, he, so he, I, think, I think he said, I think he said, um, if I included the joke part, it wouldn't get as many views. <laughs> but but that's also yeah. like the, oh. these guys are told, you know, get fucking views, and that's why a lot of times that account specifically, Viva La Stool is people being embarrassed, right. uh, you know, getting fucking around, yeah. Fucking, yeah, like you're getting pranked, you don't know what's going on. There's been a million times I've been on the Viva La Soul one going like, I fucking can't stand those guys. It's usually a little more like I just, it was an embarrassing moment, not you took away someone's retirement uh, flowers, you know? So I do get, and, and there's always, there's different rules for different people. You know, Taylor is a big earner, he's, he's a professional athlete. It was a more important moment, but I don't know if, it, if that, that same reaction would happen for everybody here, you know? Um, but it was also a more serious matter because, you you know, you have a whole other career and all that. But, yeah, I mean, it, it was – Dave directly said to the, the social team, don't make – or Gaz said to the social team, stop making our talent's life miserable. And then Dave said, well, no, 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 you can do that, but as long as it's real. And I think that, you know, I, I would prefer that they don't do anything to just fucking – give people a hard time, but if it's real, it's real. I, I said to Dave, 
we we have enough real drama and real shit that's going to get clicks. We don't need to to fabricate it. Um, yeah. But but so from your point of view, all good. Everything's fine. Yeah, dude. Everything's all good on my end. Literally, I, I was. It was one of those things where I was like infuriated for like 20 minutes, and then like, and then like it clicks in my head like it's this dude. This is this is media. This is exactly yeah. This is what's gonna happen is as soon as it hits 12 o'clock. It's the, the NFL week one is on, and no one gives a shit about this this clip that may or may not be true. Right. And, and, and that's exactly what happened. Literally, the minute the week uh, week one started, it was like, oh, who gives a shit about any of this stuff? So, it, it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's part of being a part of a big company, right? Like, yep. you, like you said, like you see the people that stole stuff, people get embarrassed, people whatever, and sometimes you're like, oh, I don't like that. But at the end of the day, like. We're all pushing the cart in the same direction at one, at one way or another. Now, just from a personal point of view, like our, it, it, you know, you kind of mentioned your 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 knee, your weight, you're doing other things. Um, it, are you just waiting for the right time to like to, to announce it? Well, do you think you'll be back? Is there? I mean, I'm just, just the idea of announcing the the retirement. We were talking yesterday is like probably one of the biggest things you'll ever do. So I'm just trying to um, get inside your head on how that feels and how that works. Yeah, it is a it is a weird thing. Like I watched Week One of the NFL, and obviously there's a piece of me that's like, man, I love to be out there with the boys. And the ego part of me is like, man, if I was out there, hopefully this it would have been a different result. Especially when we're talking about the Titans versus the Saints. But you know, for me personally, like it all comes down to my knee, and like uh, one way or another, like my surgery was done wrong the first time. Mm-hmm. I've had two ACL surgeries now. Like the the thing has absolutely decayed. And so it, it just doesn't seem like it's going to be a, uh, even an option for me to go back and, and play. And, and, you know, instead of dwelling on what to do, what not to do, I have to keep moving forward as if it's not happening. And then if for whatever reason I'm able to fix a couple things and maybe become back, then you can do something. But, you know, we're still in the fall. There's still this new show called Flips and Picks 500 that, I got, that I'm the host of with Delaney Walker and Will Compton. And there's Bustin' with the Boys and we're on a fall tour. So there's so many things to also do that, you know, it's one of those things where I just haven't gotten to it if I'm going to do it. Okay, real quick, since we're on the topic of injury before I let you go, um, Aaron Rodgers, I, I feel like the the uh, type of rehab you got to do for something like that at his age with a new team and everything, it's, it seems unlikely. Um, but what what are your thoughts on the idea of, of uh, him making it back and playing out that second year? Yeah, first off, I saw, I saw your post. Uh, and it was incredible, dude. <laughs> Monday Night Football, 9-11, Aaron Rodgers in New York with a, with a light coming off of his helmet, uh, holding 50 stars and 13 bars, the most free flag you'll ever see in your entire life. You're like, holy shit, dude, the Jets are really going to truly do this thing. Yep. <laughs> and then that happens 75 seconds, 75 seconds into his Jets oh career. God. Like, boom, game's over. The Jets are dead. We got the, we got the MILF hunter now taking snaps. It's like a wild, <laughs> wild, wild process. So – your question is, is like, can he come back from it? I believe he can. Does an Achilles injury for a running back or a tackle or a DN who's got to turn the edge, like, those are very difficult things to come back from. A guy like Aaron Rodgers, who is, is evasive, he does extend plays quite often, you know, it's, it's going to be a difficult injury to come back from, but he can. The 39 years old is like the big wrench in it. And who, what's to say that Rogers just sits there, goes on another ayahuasca trip, and he's like, "This is just it for me anymore." Right. Really <laughs> that's like, is that's actually what I was most worried about. Is like, he'd be like, "This is the universe telling me it's done," yeah. and, and I listen to my body and I listen to the world because he seems to be that kind right. of guy. So, uh, it just seems like it's po- Of course, it's possible. He's, you know, despite being injured right now, he's obviously one of the top one percent bodies and, and athletics in the world. He could do it. It's just a matter of like desire, I feel like, at that age to come back. And I, Dave said he thinks being on the Jets motivates him more. I think if it was like I don't want to go out that way with my Packers who I've been with forever, it would be different. Um obviously nobody can answer except for him. But um but so if you had to guess, you think he'll 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 play again? Dude, that's so tough. That that is such a hard thing. I don't like I, if it's so hard because I think of the ego of a football player is exactly what you just said. I'm not going out like that. Mm-hmm. But Aaron Rodgers, who who truly is, he's a unique mind, where he does go on these these trips to kind of like figure out himself and what he truly wants in life and all of that. He's very like present with his own emotions, which I think is a beautiful thing. 
it adds a bit of a wrench to the whole thing. He could he could very well sit there and be like, obviously, I got to listen to my body here, just like you said, and, and yep. move on. But I can absolutely see him sitting there and being like, I'm not going to let this get me down. We're going to keep moving forward. His, it's not like a, a massive shoulder surgery. Like he's going to be able to take a snap, rip that ball. Right. I don't know how much like an Achilles translates to throwing the ball distances, but like, there's so much talent in the Jets. So much talent. And he probably sat there in camp going, this is the most talent I've ever had around me in my entire life. We're going to win a Super Bowl this year, especially with that defense, too. Like, It's very enticing to see if he wants to come back. Right, right. All right, well, we'll see what happens. Uh, and uh, congratulations on the non-retirement, Taylor. All right, guys, I appreciate that. Well, you guys have a fantastic day. Looking forward to talking to you soon. All right, have a good one, man. We'll take uh, one more call here because this guy called in a couple times. Eddie, he wants to clown on me. What's up, Eddie? Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, yeah, before I get to that, I want to shout out Brandon and Titus with TJ on the ones and twos, mostly sports. has been great programming. Uh, so hope they keep that up. Uh, but Kevin, you know, I understand the gambling cave on Monday night was probably as close to hell on earth as you can get with the characters that you were in there with. But leaving the stream as the lead Jets guy at Barstool after the Rogers injury. Oh, you left, right? Flew under the radar yeah, yesterday. Yeah. I I'm yeah, happy. The, the I actually wanted this. Definitely over. But somebody somebody tweeted this to me. Yeah, what happened? No I, Super Bowl. I'm happy you called in on this. I, I was just talking about it with John on KFC Radio that comes out tomorrow. I cannot tell you how little I give a fuck about people who are mad at me for leaving the stream. Did you have something with your kids or something? I, I just didn't want to. I, I want to leave. I, yeah, I just wanted to leave. <laughs> I by the way, I kept making content the whole time through because I knew somebody was going to complain. All right, you're doing videos. I was on Instagram Live the whole time. I was, Why'd you leave though? Because I was getting up early in the morning, I was going to get home at 1 a.m., and I was like, the Jets are going to lose this game, and I'm going to get home late, and it's all going to suck. So I left. <laughs> I, and I it's, do not give a fuck. I can say, like, uh, my dad is a big, we're leaving early guy. Mm -hmm. And my whole life, and still, because I have no responsibilities, I'm like, let's just stay. Like, something could happen. <laughs> yeah. He yeah, had and, responsibility. And, yeah. And, and, but, but don't get me wrong. When that happened, I was like, fuck, I wish I was there. Yeah. It would have been a great moment. Me and, and that freak Clemmer hugging and, and sure. celebrating. Right. Um, My dad left I, the, the Pats 24 nothing. It was 24 nothing to the Broncos. Broncos Sunday night. Yeah. Well, he left that God. game and sat in the parking lot the whole time and was like, I fucking. I wish I did. Wish I didn't leave. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> I w if, I, if I had known, I would have stayed. I was like, they're going to lose this game. I'm miserable that the season's over. I've got to get up early. I'm going to get home, like I said, at Would 1 o'clock. Would you if you were at the actual game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think when you go, you go to the game, you're committing to going out. It was just like, I just want to get home. But you would have stayed if Rodgers didn't get hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that was the reason I left. I was like, we're going to lose. And, and I feel like all. he's I don't want to watch somebody else the whole time. Yeah, Meek's a very, he's a very uh, big he's encourager. A he's, yeah, yeah, he's, he's a nodder. He agrees. Okay, he, but yes, I, I yes. feel like he's got like a, he's got something in his ear, but he doesn't. <laughs> no, he's yeah. responding to he's us, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but I, 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 I was saying on KFC Radio, I, there was a time where I would have been like, oh, my God, I left the stream, and there was a moment. You're fucking losing. Hey, you can't let that mad right. that I am not on the stream. Uh, all right, well, as we wrap up, Survivor, um, you know, you don't want to reveal gameplay or anything, but. No. Um, I mean, I'll just make it clear. I made it clear all along, you know, mini golf, boom. Trivia, you were there, Philo Yep. Boom. 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 The Minna Slam, leg. Well, it's two titles. I've won two oh, titles. Oh, okay. I thought that was an individual event. It's copyrighted. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, leg three is going to be surviving. Well, leg three is a Ryder so, Cup. So if we, if I win that, surviving Barstool would be potentially true. Grand Slam, yeah, four. Be, um, um, which I'm, I am, I think I'm going to win it now. I think. Well, I'm, listen, if it's a game of you know wits and sociopathic, I'm willing to die for it. Fuck. Are you, are <laughs> yeah. you in it? I'm in it, and uh, I think I'm willing to I die think I'm going to be a force to be reckoned with. John, John, oh, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Okay, oh, I, I like this. this. Says if I, I like this. If I past day one, like, I'll be you a like problem to the I, I kind of feel the same way. I think if I make it past night one or two, the if I make it past the big cut, because I know we're doing we're doing a big number. I think that, the, what you guys have for, on, for most of these games? like eight? eight? Yes. Yeah, yeah, the the original bar still has eight, so, so there's 12 people. So this one's different because it's going to be like, Breakneck. There's pace. 12 people in this. Yes. So there's going to be oh multiple. It's it's not as much like long days where you're sleeping at night and wake up and you're talking like all day long. It's going to be like challenge talk vote, challenge talk vote. So I, I don't know if that makes it harder, easier, better, worse. I'm not sure. I think it's, it's going to be, be different. I think it's going to be a war though. Like it's yeah. Oh God, yeah. Everyone. So I do you think be... though? Uh, I think the money is the same. And well, what, I mean, what is it? It's like 10 grand. Exactly this though. You didn't even know. You I'd pay it to. I would pay it to win. Right, right. I would. I would but, <laughs> but, I will, but there is also an element of like, 
Usually these games are for money and life-changing money. All of us are playing for pride, which I think is more than that. But also there can be a moment where it's like, I don't know, I don't even fucking care. You know, whatever, like, vote me off. You know what I mean? It's kind of like. Yeah, you gotta survive, wait. you gotta, ironic, so you gotta get past those moments. So if you get past, yeah. I think everyone's gonna have their breaking. Oh, dude, you will. Like, you'll, once you're in it, yeah. like, no, you I'm not, are. I'm not saying I wouldn't take it seriously, but yeah. it's like. Well, just think of some people who are in it. That's Like, like here's yeah. the, here, here, if, if, if there's a moment where it's like, I am going to absolutely backstab and fuck somebody over, and they are going to, like, it's going to be a problem. Let's do it. it there's, and, like, uh, your, your inclination is like, yes. Let's do it. We're yes, yes exactly. It's a show. It, it yeah. is a little. I, I'm going to have to, like, gear up. He'll do it. He'll do it. He'll he, I, <laughs> really, I like that. Like, I'm worried about him. I'm worried about him. Yeah, I like that he's bought in. I think my. I, he, has a, he has a strategy. Oh, you have a method. Which is I, more I, than, I, you know, I, 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 I wouldn't ask for I it. I think I, I have a strategy. And it, it's out, to be totally honest, I said this on Case Radio, the I was going to do this. Like, I was like, I'm just going to do this. And then, and then I was like, wait, that's actually not a bad strategy. So like, it was something I was just gonna. But do. I thought, I thought he was gonna. His strategy was gonna be, I'm gonna say yes to everybody. You come to me and ask for an alliance, I say yes. I turn around, you ask. I guess me, I say people yes. do that though. Right? That's what I did. That's why I got my ass voted out last that gets, that gets you <laughs> Yeah, that can only no last one's so long. no one's done what I've done because no one's had the knowledge that I have going into it in the sense that like on Survivor and stuff like that, what? you don't know the people. Right. So like, I know everyone. Right. And it's it's it's. Uh, what I I have not thought about at all until just recently is the uh, the challenges. I'm like, oh fuck, we have to do like, like, like saying, shit well, too. Well, I'm thinking about just the like getting people to vote and stuff. I, like, I don't want to upside down and shit. Yeah, I don't want right? to like eat stuff and yeah, hang See, up. Like, I don't think it's like that. This game, I saw the maggot thing. I was like, I bet that'd be pretty fun. No, yeah, hey, when I, I, mean, I saw that, yeah, I can't do that. Last night's uh, the maggots. I would. I would and I will absolutely just sit that out. That wasn't like, that. Oh, was getting water. water. No, what? Dude, that was, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Bro, no. You had goggles and a shot. It wasn't as bad no as shot. you thought. No shot. I would just be like, I'll be available to be voted off. The mag I thought that wasn't that bad. I guess I don't know what it smelled. The muddy water was much worse. Is there anyone who you guys are worried about it, coming into this who's like going to be a problem in surviving Barstool? I think everybody's a problem. But like, who is someone who you're like sneaky? They'll be. I mean, obviously there's Keeg. She's very good at this show. Is there anyone who? Yeah, you have I mean, your like, eye on. I really, I, I, my strategy has always been, and I think everyone's an idiot if they don't do it. It's like you vote off the people who want it the most and who will hurt the most. You just vote off Dave. Vote off Tommy. <laughs> yeah. Like that. That is the. We are not playing Survivor. We're playing Barstool Survivor. We know everybody in the in the circle. We know who it will like. Fuck up the most, who wants to win the most, who has the most power, so you get rid of them. At the anniversary thing in Boston, Tommy came, we were all in the thing before this. He's already working at it. Tommy came up to me, he's like, you know, we should maybe form an alliance. It's like, you're not gonna, are you doing this right now? (laughs) Oh, yeah, I mean, listen. But then he'll say, he'll be like, well, they're obviously gonna vote me out later. He says everybody, though. Yeah, I guess so. Some would say you're not playing the game then, you're not, you're, you're already late. If you're not doing it yet, you know? Yeah, but, but I think he's doing it to, there's some game involved in that, so I'm not gonna fall for that game. Oh, you, oh, you think it's not honest? Yes, don't you? I don't think it is. Now I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually think Tommy, I think Tommy, I think the one of the weirder things about Tommy is I don't think Tommy does bits. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think Tommy genuinely yeah. believes everything he's doing and trying. Yeah. Not genuinely believes, but like likes and enjoys. Put it this way. If Tommy Smoke somehow wins this one, we'll never hear the end of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually surprised he's doing it. I would have, I, like, I would be like, uh, I'll be the reigning champ. Oh, oh, forever, yeah, something like that. I think it's gonna get ugly though. I think it's gonna get really. Ugly. Oh, I can't wait. So good. dude, it's the most, so <laughs> it's the most it's gossipy. Good. That's where he's good though too. Backstabby, not backstabby, but gossipy and insecure company in the world. That when people have to like write a, write a name or or break a promise, there's gonna be a lot of repercussions. The Chicklets guys are in there too, right? Uh, I don't uh, know. Wit, wit, maybe. I, no, I think I think he's out. I don't okay. Know. Yeah. But still, it's. I mean, it's you guys. It's Dave. It's Big Cat. It's gonna yep. be. Yep. Uh, so that'll be in early October, I believe. Uh, well, we're shooting it. Early. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't know when it comes out. So, um, all right. Thanks, Kirk. Anything you want to plug? Yeah, anything uh, coming up? I got nothing. Really. We've got uh, most game, most dangerous game show was last night. That'll be next Tuesday. That that was, you were. Uh, Heavily featured in last night's episode. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, it, that's why I get cast. Yeah. I made alliances you, you played with every single... The second I didn't have immunity, everyone goes, oh, yeah, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and that's what happened, but it was pretty... Yeah, cool. I saw uh, the highlight of the, the, the stream. The, the comment said, um, we lost three mean girls today. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, the dozen season four play-in teams have been revealed, so there'll be uh, that, that play-in tournament to make the regular season for next year. Uh, the Ryder Cup premieres right. on Monday. Yep, I'm in that. Yep. That was uh, fun. That was, that was good. great, yeah. 
Uh, and then a new Out of Order is tonight. New Out of Order. Um, I just watched one of the skits. They were debating whether to put it in the show or just have it be a social media clip. I, I voted for put it in the show. I think the premise alone is fucking hilarious, whether it's on the show or on uh, their social media. It's, it's, it's very, very funny, and we might not put it in. So that's how good the rest of the episode is. Yeah, was. like five or six skits. Uh, so that's on the uh, Barstool Comedy uh, YouTube. So go subscribe and all that nonsense, and we'll see you guys tomorrow at noon. Today I'm not here to have fun. Today I'm here to win. Let's shock the world! Oh, yeah! yeah. yeah. That's a great fucking shot. The money man! Start eating. Come on. Come on! Get going. Nice putt. That's what we do! Let's fucking go. Come on! Let's go. That's what we do, baby. Full disclosure, I have no idea where the shot's gonna go. Thank you. Thank you. Get out of the sand, Dave. Kirk, you started this. I started? Is that where we're at now? This is the X Factor we needed. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. It's warfare. Money for money. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come back for me! What you talking about? That's my partner! Two biggest fucking losers of the company. They started talking the shit. I'm just better at it. A big shot. Danny boy! Big players, big moments. Oh! He's mentally weak. He's falling apart. That oh. boy right down the middle. Oh! Team fucking win. No one believes in us. Fucking choke job! It's just unfair. I'm making you into the villain. If he misses this, it's a disaster. Oh, the fuck, dude? What team are you on? We got the whole team of shambles, baby. Dave! Dave! He went. That's for camera. I won't do that to him. Fuck you! <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker! Don't take your shitty golf play out on me, player. Yeah! Yes! What? That's what I'm talking about. Love this game we call golf.